Good morning. <laughs> I am a solo today, which is not something that happens very often. But today I had to make a trip to Portland for to drop someone off for an appointment. And while I'm here, I thought that I would check some stuff out. Now it's kind of early, so I can't get started yet. I'm going to be kind of hanging out in parking lots, but I thought maybe I would go to the Westbrook Goodwill. And I would also, if I have time, go to the Goodwill bins in Gorham. Uh, I haven't been there since before the pandemic. So that would be exciting. I haven't been there. And I, it's kind of weird going by myself. I'm so used to John going with me. So I thought maybe I would check that out and see if I can find anything while I'm here waiting to pick up said person from appointment. So, um... Let, let's see if I can find anything. Okay, I am at Goodwill by the pound. Uh, the doors are right there. <laughs> when I pulled in, I panicked for a minute because they just opened, it's eight o'clock and they just opened and there was a line out the door and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a line to get in. And I was like, I'm not gonna wait in a line in the cold. It's only 16 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but they, hadn't opened the door yet so now everyone is inside and now I can go inside and I don't have to stand out in the cold so really this is the perfect time to get here <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and see if I can find anything there was a pretty good amount of people but the parking lot is not nearly as full as it usually is when John and I come during the day so that that's a plus <laughs> so I apologize <laughs> I meant to show you the bins uh, when I was in there, uh, but I, whenever I get in there, I just like head right to the bins and I don't even think about taking the camera out, so I apologize. But I filled up this big tote thing full of stuff and when I get home, I will do a haul and show you what I got, but I got some good stuff and I only spent $5.00 at the bins so I'm very proud of myself <laughs> but now I am at the regular Goodwill store in Westbrook and I'm gonna go in there and see if I can find anything and I will try to actually show you <laughs> what I'm looking at in there <laughs> so I am the only one in this store and so I got super uh, self-conscious about talking <laughs> to the camera but here's a look at what I was seeing. Uh, there are a whole bunch of picture frames and some dishes. I couldn't believe how empty the shelves were. Like This is a super cute uh, cookie jar, but it was too expensive. And there's also a cool looking pitcher over here. I liked this yellow pitcher, but it was super dirty inside. Disgusting. And then look at this, there's like nothing on the shelves at all. So needless to say, I didn't find anything here in the home goods area. I just went to the clothing. Now, as you could see, the uh, shelves were rather bare in there. Uh, I did get four pairs of shorts, which I will show you right okay. now. Okay, I am back home with my haul. I have actually started listing all of this stuff already but I wanted to show you what I got at the bins. And uh, first up, whatever, what, ew, yuck. Anyway, first I got this felt material and it's felt with uh, black pumpkins printed on it. And there's a little bit of gold shimmer in there. And I have, this is uh, two yards of this with these weird, I don't know what this is. I have to clean it still before I can list it. I don't know what this is. It's gross. Anyway, I think it's like melted elastic or something. But anyway, I got that. <laughs> I found this Izzy Moonbow plush. How cute is she? Still with tags. Nice and clean. I got this a Busy Girl notebook and uh, it can hold brushes or colored pencils or markers or makeup brushes or whatever you want that is long and cylindrical, you can put in there. Your tools, whatever, whatever you want. 
And I also got this audiobook. This I probably should not have bothered getting. But um, I got this audiobook. It's in good shape. Um, I got this stamper <laughs> from the Happy Planner Crate 365. I tested it. It works. Here, I'll show you. Uh, Ta-da! It works. So there was that. I also got from Create365 Happy Planner stuff these deco pens, and it has these three styles in there. It's like a kind of like whiteout tape, if you remember that far back. Um, I picked this up. <laughs> It looks like a knockoff Gusto from Ratatouille. I had to get it. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just had to get it. And I also got the 12 Days of Dickens Village. And it is a partridge in a pear tree. Everything looks like it is fine in there. There's no broken pieces, but there are two sets of those gold pears missing. There's only one gold pear on the tree but still not bad I got disc one of original Christmas classics I didn't realize this was like a box set well here's disc one anyway and I got a puzzle from Owl Crate of Elias and Leia 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 from uh the embers of fire or I don't know I, I haven't read any of the books but anyway got that puzzle and then, over on this side here, I got this giant fairy friends plush unicorn from Build-A-Bear, which is really clean. It's really hard to get clean plush from the bins because they get rolled around, but that was really clean. So I picked that up. And then <laughs> this stuff is crazy. Okay, I picked up a whole box of head bandanas. I have 69 of these um, Lotus and Luna headbands. Now these are the headbands that you put your, you attach your face mask to. I'll show you. Uh, let me move my light so you can see. Okay, so here is uh, one of the headbands. This, this is the green style. And you can see there are the buttons for you to attach your mask elastic to, so it's not resting on your ears. And so I have 69 of these green ones. They're really cool. I like them quite a bit, actually. But I also got, in that same box, I have uh, about 30 or so of this style headband. That's kind of more like a, a racing one. You know, one for like if you're running or walking outside or whatever. I have orange, blue, and this turquoise color. And then I also got, there was also in there, these Mia and Tess four look mask scarfs. Now these are kind of cool, hold on. Okay, now bear with me. It does, the masks don't really work very well on my mannequin head, but you get the idea. It is a scarf that you can wear as a face mask. Obviously, this is like covering a surgical or an N95. It's more decorative than it is um, going to protect you, but it kind of covers the ugly color if you have like a blue one or whatever. But anyway, so there's this style where you can wear it like a mask and this hangs over the front. And what you do is you tie this part back here. So you would probably double knot that, but I don't want to ruin it. But anyway, so it goes like that around the back, right? And it's nice and snugly around your neck and it kind of covers your whole entire face. That's one way to wear it. And then another way, you can also wear it across your head like this, like a regular headband. You can have it, and then you can also have it around your neck, like a neck scarf, or you tie it around there too. I'm not making it very pretty, but you get the idea. So that is what these are. And I have multiple colors and everything of those. So I scored, <laughs> there was a lot of them. So I have different colors of those mask things. I have these. I have two bags of these and then all of that. 
And that is what I got at the bins, and that was $5 for all of this stuff. So it works out to be about four cents a piece of, uh, four cents an item. So I only have to sell probably one of these things to get my money back. So that is a really good investment, and that's why I love the bins. Okay, here are the shorts I picked up at Goodwill. I found this pair of um, <laughs> champion. I found this pair of champion shorts. They are kind of like, they don't come across on camera the same color as in real life, but they're like a dark blue, but kind of on the gray side. I don't really know how to describe it, but they're in very good condition. All of the buttons are here. The zippers work. The ends, like the, the cuffs of the shorts are in good condition. So I have those ones. And then I also found this pair of Tommy Bahama shorts. And these are kind of like a grayish green color. Similar, they're a little darker than they are on camera, but it's similar in color. And these have a zipper side pocket, a regular pocket. And these also, all of the buttons are there. The backs have their buttons. The edges are, the hems are in good condition. These look really good too. And then I also got these two pairs, two pair of Gap Basics. They're the essential khakis. And can you, you can't be up here, I'm showing close. I'm sorry. And the thing is, I thought I was picking up two of the same exact thing, because that's what they're labeled. But it appears that one has been altered, because as you can see, if I line up the edges here, they don't match up. <laughs> so I think what happened were, this was like a... a um, a twin outfit. You know what I mean? They both had the same clothes and someone had to alter one, I think. So, cause it looks like right here, this was where it was taken in. I mean, it was professionally done. It looks really good. I didn't even notice in the store, but, um, so I have, <laughs> I have both of these one is, this is actually kind of like a size 32, not a size 34. And this one is a size 34. So, but they're still in good condition, even though this one has been altered slightly. But that's okay. I mean, who knows? Maybe someone else needs it altered the same way. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my little thrifting adventure that I went on uh, and to kind of show you what I saw, what I did. I don't know. I had fun doing it and I'm glad you guys were able to come along with me. And I guess that will be it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.